uh, Second Edges 3, you can hold that for me. And uh, you get Joe 33. Con, con. All right, first and foremost, we want to give call law, Yahweh, by Shem Yahushan. That's all praises to the Most High God in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world we call Jesus Christ. We are the Hebrew Israelites, okay, the so called Black Hispanic Native Indians, God's chosen people. We're coming out here to bring our people back to repentance, okay, bring our people back to following and worshiping the Most High God, Yahweh, in spirit and in truth. Understand that they have a savior on the way who is a powerful, austere black man, okay? Who the world calls Jesus Christ. Real name, you have shy the paleo Hebrew. Come on, come on. Let me get that in the book of Second Ezra, the third chapter from the top. Probably shot. And in the 13th year of the reign of the city of Babylon, a day, it's a lot, a lay trouble upon my bed, and my thoughts came over my heart. Uh, so Ezra is just laying upon his bed, right? Thoughts and trouble is coming upon him. He's getting visions from the Most High. Go ahead, read. For I saw the desolation of Zion. Right, the desolation of Zion. That's what's going on here in Las Vegas. The desolation of Zion. Drunkenness, adultery, right? Committing, committing uh, theft, murder, okay? Last night, I'm walking to CBS. Jake had a, uh, had a nerve to tell me, oh, I like that shirt you got on. He's like, I'm not no blood, but I like it. So I was like, so, you know, are you, are you a crip? He's like, nah, I'm a murderer. And that's the thing that's on our people's mind, man. A desolate, we are a desolate nation, man. Spiritually, right, carnally. We see our people out here laid out in the streets, right? Drunk as hell, off shrooms, off weed, smoking cigarettes, right? Go ahead, read so that I began to speak. Salak me, Salak me. Second Ezra 3 and 2. For I saw the desolation of Zion and the wealth of them that dwelt at Babylon. Right, the wealth of them that dwell at Babylon. The so-called white man, East Indian man, Arab, right, Persian, East African, they ain't got to worry about a damn thing walking in Las Vegas, man. They got all the money in the world. That's why they come down here and tour, man. And they keep everything in Vegas, right? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And we know the so-called white man is looking for little boys to touch on little girls to, to touch on, yeah. right? Go to these damn strip clubs, man, blow all their money on a stripper, right? Read. And my spirit was sore moved so that I began to speak words full of fear to the Most High and said, right, O Lord who bears fruit, thou speakest at the beginning when thou didst plant the earth and that thyself alone and commandest the people and gave us a body unto Adam without soul, which was the workmanship of thy hands. Right, the workmanship of his hands, man. That's why us black Hispanic Native Indians, we are the image of the Most High, right? We are God's chosen people. We are called after, after, after his name, right? Go ahead. And did us breathe unto him the breath of life. Right, the breath of life. Now let's see what that breath of life is. Give me Job 33 and 6, bring it up. This is the book of Job, chapter 33, verse 6. Behold. I am according to thy wish in God's stead. I also am formed out of the clay. 33 and 6. Salah here. 33 and 4. Salah. Uh -huh. Verse 4. The Spirit of God hath made me, and the breath of the Almighty hath given me life. Right? The Spirit of God hath made me. Right? And the breath, and his, and his breath has given me life. Right? What's his breath? Give me a brute form one. We brought this out earlier. The powerful brother I now was bringing this out in North Vegas, man. Feeding the flock. Fle feeding the, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. Of the house of Yashallah, the blacks and Spanish native Indians. These laws, statutes, and commandments. Right? Go ahead, bring it out. Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endureth forever. Right? The law that endureth forever. This is the book of the commandments of God. For who? For the so-called black and Spanish native Indian, man, woman, and child. The so-called black and Spanish native Indian is the is the people, the mass of people that need this Bible, that need the Most High, that need saving, right? Where's the so-called black man, African Americans land, man? Where's this land at? The average black man don't know that. Your land is in Israel, right? The the land filled with milk and honey, man. Right? And, who, and who's over there? Imposters, intruders, damn rats, man. The goddamn kites. 
right? Bring it out. And all they that keep it shall come to life. All they, all you so-called black and Spanish Native Indians, if you keep the law, and commandments of God, you will come to life. Right, right. These are morals that the Most High that gave you to prosper in life. Give me uh, Joshua 1 and 8. Finish it out. But such as leave it shall die. Right. But such as leave it shall die. And we see how people out here, we die, man. We dying, spiritually and physically. We getting gunned down in the streets. We dying spiritually in the church, man, in the mosque, right? Our people into Buddhism, Hinduism, all types of madness, man. Kim it, right? Bring that out. Joshua 1 and 8. This is the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Right, the book of the law shall not depart out of the so-called black and Spanish native Indian man, woman, and child's mouth, man. We supposed to keep this. This is our life. It's our custom. It's the way of life. Right? The ways of the so-called white man is nothing but death, man. Incarceration, right? Low income, guns, crack in your hood. That's the way of life of the so-called white man. Hell and destruction, man. Being at the bottom, right? And that's and that's where we are right now. But we choose to follow the devil, the so-called white man. And our people is destroyed, man. Go ahead, read. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. The Lord is going to make our ways prosperous. If we do everything that is written in this Bible that's been commanded to us. Read. And then thou shalt have good success. See on that? Come Dealing with success. Do you think the so-called black man, native Indian man, woman, and child is successful on this earth, right? Without selling out, without going to college and not learning a damn thing for four to six years, oh. eight years. Oh. What the hell do you learn in the, in the white man's school system? His history, right? His history of, of him taking over the, the native Indians, killing 77 million of them, giving them smallpox, bringing roaches and rats over here, diseases, right? So-called white man's a goddamn disease. Go ahead. Second Ezra 3 and 6. And thou leadest him into paradise, which thy right hand hath planted, before ever the earth came forward. Verse 7. And unto him thou gavest commandment to love thy way, which he transgressed. And immediately thou appointest death in him and his generations. Right, to love his way. And that's what, I, that's what people need to do. What's going on, brother? Do you know anything about the scriptures? That's your mom? You believe in the Bible? So this is my question. Get it out. You know what I want. How did the so-called black man, woman, and child get over here to the Americas? By the white man, by what mechanism? On how? Like how did they how did the so-called white man take us from West Africa over here to America? I'm sorry? By force, right? But but how? What what transportation? By a boat, a ship, right? Go ahead, bring that out, huh? This is the book of Deuteronomy. Matter of fact, matter of fact get one, then get 15, and then let's get to the point. Salakia, right? Because we got to rightfully divide this word. Our pastors and our preachers are not doing this in the church, right? All they feed you is what? It's grace, right? And the law is done away with. We don't have to keep the law, right? Bring it out. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, from the top. And so would you say that, Salake, would you say that we are a people that's on top right now, collectively? No, right? All right, bring it up. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, all his, all his commandments, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, right. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all of uh, Salakia, above all nations of the earth. Right, so the Most High told us if we was to hearken, if we was to listen, observe the commandments He gave us, and do them, right, put out that action, put out that put out that love according to the scriptures, that He was going to set us on high above all, the, above all nations on the earth, right? And you agree with me that we are not above all nations of the earth, right? Would you say we at the bottom? Let me show you why we at the bottom, right? Go ahead. Verse 15, but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not 
hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. And so Moses is telling the children of Israel, the so-called black and Hispanic Native Indians, that if you would not listen to the Most High God, right, go ahead, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these what? Curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right? All these curses shall come upon us and overtake us, right? Like you said, we was taken by force, right? So I'm gonna show you a law in the scriptures, right? That goes against what the so-called white men done to us, so-called black and Hispanic native beings. Because when we was on the slave plantations, they would tell us that them putting us into captivity was a good thing. Right? The scriptures talk about obey your slave or obey your master, right? Get that in uh what was I looking for? Salakia. Exodus 21 16. Khan. Salak, Salak. Right? That's what they taught our people. And that's why our people, our people they hate the Bible. Just because of that. Just because of what the so-called white man then puts, right? Especially that image there. Who the warrior calls Jesus Christ. Right? When you think of Jesus Christ, what does he look like? Where is when you see him? What does he look like? Looks like that guy, right? This was an actual man that walked the earth. Caesar Bozier, right? Killed his brother, had sex with his sister. A very wicked and evil man. And the, the so-called white man, the Spanish, the French, right? The Portuguese, the, the British, they came with that image and they pushed that on us, right? And told us you either bow down to this image or you die, okay? But bring this out and Exodus 21 and 16. All right, go ahead. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 21, verse 16. And he that stealeth a man. And he that what? Stealeth a man. Would you say that the so-called white man stole the so-called blacks from the west side, from the west of Africa? The west of Africa? Right? Go ahead, bring it up. Or if he be found in his head. Right, go ahead. What? Just, just stand by and listen to this, right? It says what? And he that stealeth the man and selleth him, uh -huh. or if he be found in his hand. Right, where we at? Where's the, where's the predominant mass population of the, of the so-called African Americans? Here in America, right? It says if we be found in the hand of them that stole us and sold us, what will happen? Go ahead. He shall surely be put to death. All right, so you're gonna be put to death, man. Now give, give me Isaiah 14, 21. And this is what they do. That's they run to, that's they scapegoat. I didn't do it, it wasn't me, I wasn't there. Well, I wasn't there when my when my ancestors were going through captivity, when they were, when my ancestors were alligator bait, when they were getting chopped up on the ships and feed to our people, right? Bring it out. Bring it out. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children. For his what? For his children. For the iniquity of their father. Right, for the wicked acts of their father. So they gotta pay. Same way we pay it today for what our ancestors did by not obeying the most high Lord's statutes and commandments. Right? The scriptures say that the Lord's judgment is like a ring. What goes around comes around. They put us into captivity, their ass is going to go into captivity, right? Excuse my career. Give me uh now let's get to uh Deuteronomy 2868, right? Because you said we got over here on boats. Did you know that was in the Bible? You didn't know? What else? So, all right, sister, what else do you know about this Bible? You know a little something? So who is Christ coming back to save since you know in the Bible that uh, we were going to go on slave ships and be sold to our enemies for bond men and bond women and no man shall buy us? And that word buying the Hebrew is kanah, right? Meaning to redeem. Nobody's came to redeem us. And our people love to say, oh, we Africans. We African. I'm from Africa. Well, you, Africa has military. They have, a, they have a military force that should be coming over here if we're African and coming to save us, to come and redeem us, to get our people, right? But the African, they know that we're not the same people. We're different, right? But um, my question was, who do you think Christ is coming to save? You know a little bit about the Bible, so you tell me you already know about this, so who is he coming to save? Get, uh, give me Luke 14 and 18, and let me get uh, Luke 1 and 60, starting at 68, right? Because this is who Christ came for. We're going to show you who Christ came for, right? Bring it out. This is the book of Luke, 
Chapter 14.